Scorpio and Orion. Two heavenly bodies, one in constant pursuit of the other. What if mankind wanted to join the light speed chase? Well, theoretically, you can get pretty close, thanks to special relativity. But that is assuming we can even get rockets to near light speeds. Getting up to and maintaining a near light speed takes a ton of energy. First off, we need a lot of rocket fuel. But fuel is heavy. A high speed rocket needs to accelerate not only its mass, but also its fuel's mass. And the more mass there is, the more fuel we need, and the more fuel we have, the more mass there is, and you can see how that circles. Secondly, when things accelerate, their mass increases. As you accelerate, your energy increases, and since the speed of light is constant, your mass must increase as well. Let's visualize. I'm going to pull this car. The car is not moving. As I pull, I can feel its mass. Now, I'm gonna do that again. But this time, it will have an acceleration opposite the direction that I'm pulling, but I can't tell. Now when I pull, I feel that the car seems much heavier than the first time, because it is moving. So, when things accelerate, their mass increases. So, most of our problems have to do with the fact that we, rockets and fuel, all have mass, unlike light. Now, when I say fuel, you probably think chemical fuel. But recently, physicists have discovered an alternative, antimatter. And now, here's a secret. Antimatter has mass. However, it has an opposite charge from normal matter. Take a positron. It has the same mass as an electron, but an opposite charge. While literal tons of fuel are needed to propel a rocket, only milligrams of antimatter are needed. That's just a few thousandths of an m M&M, compared to the one million m M&M that make up a ton. Antimatter fuel works when a particle of matter and one of antimatter meet. The collision converts each's mass completely into energy. This is incredibly efficient. Imagine I'm an antimatter bodybuilder, and after a workout sesh, I have a matter protein shake, and 100% of that protein becomes pure muscle. 100% of the particle's masses become pure energy. But there is one danger. A matter-antimatter collision releases tons of dangerous gamma rays. It's like when a dog and a pool collide and everyone gets wet. But instead of getting us wet, gamma rays break apart our molecules. But the NIAC has found a solution to this. Antimatter rockets have typically used antiprotons, but using positrons diminishes gamma rays by 400 times. It's like we gave our wet dog a haircut. Due to its low mass and high efficiency, antimatter fuel speeds up travel time. Such as a trip to Mars, which typically would take 180 days, now takes just 45. So humanity is not quite able to join Orion and Scorpio yet, but we are on our way to knocking out the first mass problem with the help of antimatter. <laughs>